Hey, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kadash. That's all praises to the world calls God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, being the uh, only name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to hope for like preaching this word of truth and sincerity, you know, Akim, and a few sisters that believe and listen. Um. I'm the brother Tazabon, the Great Millstone, Arizona Camp Lord Will with another video to edify. And uh I wanted to go on a on a subject because you know this devil, you know, he's getting ready to come down having great wrath. He's setting up these mandates. You have, you know, uh Sleepy Joe uh come out in the news sitting there saying, you know, we, we we've had enough sitting there waiting, you know, you be showing to uh uh, patience enough, you know, talking to the, the uninitiated, the unvaxxed, right? You know, so this devil's pushing forward policy and mandate to basically put Jake under scrutiny because when you really think about it, the scriptures tell you, uh, uh, you know, this devil's constantly set against Israel, right? He's constantly always going to be against Israel. But with him doing this, this is the Lord's plan. You know, this devil's not doing anything. But what the Lord let him do, let me let me get that real quick. Um how's it go? Cause what what did the Lord tell Pontius Pilate? This is uh John not nineteen and and uh, 10, it says, then, then say Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not unto me? Knowest thou not that I have power to crucify thee and to have power and have power to release thee? Yahweh answered, Thou couldst have no power at all against me, except it were given thee from above. Therefore, he that delivered me into, uh, unto thee hath the greater sin. So this devil has no power but what the Lord gave, right? So all these mandates and all, you know, these things are prepared for the wicked. You know, when they're talking about all this homelessness, like brothers are going to catch it. Brothers are going to go go through hell. As the scriptures tell you, uh, uh, what, how's it go? The scriptures tell you that uh, he that he that shall live godly in, in the most high shall suffer persecution, right? So no matter what, you know, we gonna catch hell, but it's not gonna be on the level of these people in these in this world, man. That didn't do anything for the heavenly Father while they had an opportunity, right? Remember, we've we've done all this work to have a whole level, a whole different experience in this time, right? Where they'll be out without hope, we'll be with hope. Where they'll where where they're gonna mourn only, we'll we'll have rejoicing, as the scripture said. But this devil has no power but what the Lord gave him, man. This is Isaiah 55, and I'll start at 8. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, say Yahweh. For as the heaven is higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So, you know, don't, don't. And and, and this is something that the scriptures have, uh, have reiterated when you go back into the time where we were coming out uh, of the wilderness, right? What did the Lord say? You know, when you went out to war, anybody who was faint-hearted, they were supposed to stay behind because what? That faint-hearted personality, that, that faint-hearted mentality is infectious. So, and this time, you shouldn't be in a mindset to start thinking about fucking taking L's. You know, excuse my language, but this, this, is, this is that important, man. You know, if you're going into a game... You know, and this 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 is this is the shit that I fucking hated when I played ball. Especially in high school. It's more prevalent when you play in high school and shit. But uh you know, people sit here and, and, and roll on this perception of these people you about to go into battle with, and you just looking at stats and shit like these mother hey man, when you go into any fight, you go in that fight you know, with the mindset of I'm about to win. I don't give a fuck what they're doing. I'm about to win. I'm going to stop what they're going to do. And this is the mindset you got to apply to this time. Right? 
Don't sit here and let your thoughts over be overcharged and you start thinking about what the left hand can do more than the right. Right? Think upon the Heavenly Father with a good heart, with a good mind and conscience that he's going to sit here and do something for us, man. Because his thoughts are higher than ours, man. Right? It says, uh, verse 10, it says, uh, for, as the, uh, for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and return it not thither, but, wa uh, but water it the earth and make it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my words be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which, which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. And hey, the Lord wrote a whole script and just have faith in the script. That's all. That's all you got to have faith in the script in because this devil rolling ain't of his own record. And you can go back to Revelation 12 and 12. The devil's going to come in like uh, having great wrath because he knew that he, that he had but a short time. Right? Another one that says the enemy shall come in like a flood. Right? Where it says... uh. Shall have two horns as, as a lamb, but spake as a dragon. Those dr draconian measures. This is what's written in the scriptures. This devil's not doing not a damn thing, but was writ what was written. You go back into Revelation, what? John saw these things happening, right? John saw the end of it, which this devil's getting ready to push towards the end of his plan, where you're going to have to sit here and take the MOB to function in this world. John saw these things. But what else did John saw? He saw... He, he saw the elect that didn't bow down to that system, right? The ones uh, that were that that were put in white robes, right? The righteousness, right? So this is John sixteen and four. It says, "But these things have I told you, that when when the time shall come, ye may remember that I told you of them." And these things I said unto you at, at the beginning because I was with you. You see, the Lord told us what was going to come, that we shouldn't be offended, right? Look, look, look 16. I'll, I'll start at one. It says, these things have I spoken unto you that ye should not be offended. I shall put you, uh, it says, they shall put you out of the synagogues. Yeah, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth the most high service. This is all going to happen again, right? This is that same time. These people think they're going to start doing stuff on the greater good to come against us, and, and it's not going to work out, man. Because ultimately, the story wasn't written for the wicked to win, but for the righteous, right? Verse 3, it says, And these things will I do unto, unto you, and these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things have I told you, that when the, the time shall come, ye may remember that I told you of them. And these things I said unto you at the beginning, because I was with you. You see, there's an assurance of this. Because what else did the Lord tell tell his his uh, disciples? He that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. This devil, the Lord never said he was going to come to save a wicked Edomite. Right? The Lord said he's gonna come put down all dominion, right? This is Second Peter's. One and nineteen. It says, and we have the more sure word of prophecy, right? And what is the sure word of prophecy? Meaning the things that are written. So to look at the accounts in the scriptures and say, see what the plan is. We have to go by the script. You have to have faith in the script. Don't let your mind get overcharged with what ifs and else. Think on victory, right? That's exactly why the that's exactly why the Lord sent sent the children of Israel back. Because what, when the, when the spies went to spy out the land, they said, hey, they're greater and mightier than us. What are we going to do? Right? And the Lord was hot. The Lord was pissed off at that. Right? So you have to have the mindset now in these days. The Lord has already given us the, the ability to spy out the land. 
All right. We're waiting for the spiritual power from, from the Heavenly Father that we can take the kingdom as is written. Hey. Right? This is uh Second Thessalonians two and eight. Right? Keep going into the to the thing that, that the Lord wrote the script, Second Thessalonians two and eight. Right? And this is part of the script. It says, um, I started seven. It says, for the iniqu for the mystery of iniquity that already worked. It's talking about a, I think I believe it's Antiochus Epiphanes, right? Through the the Edomites, only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. So the Lord has let this devil come up to the state, but we're we're coming into to the time where the Lord said he will take him out of the way. It says verse eight. It says then shall that wicked be revealed, whom Yahweh shall. So consume. Thank you. Then shall the wicked be revealed, whom Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Which is what? Through the prophets. We come in the stead of the Most High, we're the heralds of the Lord. So we speak the words of the Heavenly Father. Right? And how would he how would he, how do we speak it? Precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line here, a little and there, a little. We we go through the scriptures and compile the information. And we speak these words unto the people. What are mounts of the prophets, right? So the Lord said, what? In verse 8 again, it says, And then shall the wicked be revealed, when the Most High shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him who's coming uh, is after the working of Satan. Now, who's coming after the working of Satan? Who's setting up a, 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 a system that fulfills Revelation 13, 16, Revelation 14, Revelation uh, uh, 15, right? Who's coming up with a system that, that promotes that that uh, market of beast technology, right? Who's coming is that, right? It says, um, even him who's coming is at the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness, and them that perish because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And, and through this, through the belief and the envy of the devil, a lot of people are folding, right? Totally going anti Amashiach, anti Messiah, right? But in the same time, what did the Lord say? He said, the Lord said he would consume him with the spirit of his mouth, right? Now, when you go into the scriptures, Revelation 1 and 16, this is that consuming that the Lord is going to do. This is Revelation like, yeah. 1 and 16. It says, it says, and he had in his right hand, right? If you read up, this is talking about the image of Yahweh Shai. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went out a sharp sword, a, sh a sharp two edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun. Uh, was as the sun shineth in the, in his strength, right? That that short two edged sword coming out of his mouth goes into that Hebrews twelve, right? He was four. Let me get that Hebrews four and twelve, and it says. It says, let us, it says, uh, I'll start at 11. It says, let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Least any man shall fall after the same example of unbelief. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. That, so that two-edged sword is going into the word of the Lord, meaning the judgment. Meaning the Lord is going to judge this devil through his word. And what? When you get judged through the word, what? You go to the law. You broke this law, you're punishable by death. You broke this law, but you're punishable by, by slavery. You broke this law, you're punishable, punishable by having to serve and pay back five times the amount. The Lord is going to judge him with that two-edged sword that's going to be in his mouth. The word of the Heavenly Father, the judgment of the Heavenly Father. At the end of the day, that's what's written in the plan. Right? Verse 12, it says, for the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than two, any two-edged sword, piercing even to the, the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner 
of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hey, right? now let me finish off with this. All right, going into that sword of the uh, uh, sword, that two edged sword. This is um Revelation thirteen. Man, I gotta just start at three. This is what's written at the end of the day. This this is what's written for this devil to lose. Nowhere in the script, even 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 the brothers that have to perish on this side, because the scriptures do talk about men being martyrs. Hey, remember the the, the story of Stephen. It says Stephen looked straight up into heaven. He didn't, the, the, it didn't say Stephen was looking at the crowd. It said Stephen was looking up into heaven when they wanted to stone him. His mind, his spirit was somewhere else already. So even if we're faced with that death, you don't know how the Lord is going to have you experience it. Right? It may be nothing to you. Revelation 13 and 3, it says, And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen under him. This is talking about Yahweh Shai coming. It says, and whensoever the voice, whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth that uh, like as the earth fell it when it fell at the fire. So what? Hey, that goes in the scriptures, man. He must in this fashion be killed. Hey, right? anybody that puts their hands on the prophets. It says, um, verse five, it says, and after this, I beheld and lo, there was uh, gathered together a, a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. I mean, in all these nations, man, they're going to turn and fight against each other. They're going to, from, from fighting against each other in World War World War Three, they're going to see the Lord coming and they're going to sit here and fight against the Heavenly Father. Why do you think all these nations have all these space programs trying to sit here and, and, and do this thing because the chairs of the heavenly father have been revealing themselves. It says, um, and I behold, beheld that look, I beheld and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. Right. Talking about that huge chariot, a huge so-called UFO. It says, and, but I would have seen the region or the place where, where out the, the hill was graven and I could not. And after this, I beheld and lo, all they were uh, gathered together uh, to subdue him that that to, to subdue him were so afraid and yet their sight. The Lord put a spirit on them to fight. And lo, he as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up sword nor held. He neither lifted up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war. But only I saw. Out of his mouth, that judgment, that spoken judgment written, right? That two-edged sword. But I, but only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire and out of his lips a flaming breath and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests, man. That concentrated laser beam, that fiery judgment. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire the flaming breath and the great tempest and fell with violence upon the multitude which were prepared prepared to fight and burned them up every one so that upon a sudden of a normal innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke when i saw this i was afraid and this is what's written for the lord to come back and decimate this devil so don't look at him as he's just some powerful fucking man. Remember the book of, uh, uh, what is it, Daniels? It tells you his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. This devil is working on borrowed power. And we're at the time where the Lord is going to start pulling that away. Because it says what? Because of, of, of iniquities and riches gotten by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. This devil is going to lose in his time in the power that will be transferred is the power to israel so lord willing this is edifying i'm gonna say call hello yahweh by shima and shai by shimmer kakadash double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone and peace and mercy hopefully shalom